What's up everybody? Camp Crusher here. Holy cow, Fortnite's last resort loot pool dropped hot. Got him, he's here for 105. Vaults full of old mythics. Ghost to Christmas past. So much mobility. Shockwave versus Rocket And clicks might have been slumming in my lobbies. Is this all too good to be true? Yes and no. Let's talk about all those mythics and also come up with the best loadout for a zero build. It should be quite a doozy. So we have seven vault mythics, and of course everybody's losing their crap over the return of Midas' drum gun, and then they lost their crap again when it was nerfed to open the season. The funny thing is, we have the scar problem all over again. Look, here are the drum gun stats pre-nerf, and here's a purple combat SMG. You gotta fight at least a quarter of the lobby to hope that it randomly spawns there, and then get out too. Meanwhile, some dude that landed out the boonies is running around with a better gun they got out of a regular chest. Not saying to avoid the vaults, they are a lot of fun. I'm saying Fortnite's weapons overall have been experiencing a lot of power creep, and a lot of the older guns, they just can't hang anymore. We went from this <laughs> to this. I would have loved to have seen Sky's Assault Rifle Return or Brutus's Minigun, but even those weapons are probably mid these days. On a side note, the play was almost always the minigun that season, or Sky's Gun and Grappler. Back then, we only had choppers, launch pads, and crash pads for mobility. No cars, no shockwaves. Having that grappler was huge. We had to walk into the zones 20 miles uphill in a snowstorm both ways without shoes. Okay, Grandpa. The MK and Gunner's SMG also prove my point about the power creep. You run those guns back in Chapter 2 and everyone reports you for hacking. That said, I don't think the other ones are worth the trouble. Except maybe the chug jug thing for trios or squads. And if you do get the drum gun, you ain't throwing it out of bed for eating crackers, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> What about the Shockwave launcher? I'll get to that one in a little bit. On another side note, I wonder if Epic will rotate in some other mythics as the uh, season moves along. Let me know which ones you'd like to see in the comments below. So what about all the other mythics? The only two worth it in my opinion are the Scope Burst SMG and the Infiltrator Pump. An Eclipse to Loot Island Loot Path will net you those two mythics plus whichever one you choose from the vault. I know plenty of you love the DMR and there is nothing I can do to change your minds. <laughs> the good news for you is you can get the Mythic Thermal at Sanguine. So three mythics for you too. There you go DMR lovers. End of day though, we have to look at the mythics more like a bonus than things to build a loadout around consistently from match to match, right? So let's start with the assault rifles. Zero build these days sees more ranged fights, so I think it's important to begin here. Definitely not going with the suppressed havoc. <laughs> Damn, I don't get why that gun is still in the pool. I think the best option is the new twin mag assault rifle. It feels like the MK and the red eye had a baby. What are you doing, Nader? But a lot of players are struggling with it because it is weaker in the longest ranged fights. There were a lot of times when I actually thought, hey, maybe a DMR is better here. Then I came to my senses. The Unvault Suppressed Sniper is an interesting choice here. The ability to one-shot is pretty sweet, but it's that classic pro sports player argument. You love them when they're on your team, hate them when they're not. And look at this shot. That was a 41 meter one-shot. As fun as it is to hit those, it really isn't fair. Very few guns maintain 100% damage at any range. That is extremely difficult to balance without making it unusable. But the sniper also limits you a bit. This season, the faster fire rates make reloading more of a problem. So we kind of need our long range guns to help with that. So yeah, I say twin mag AR in that first loadout slot. Next up, let's talk shotguns. Elephant in the room is of course the Heisted Maven. It is the best shotgun in the pool. And you can get it from Love Ranger in Rubble Ruins for 400 gold. Regular Maven, still the Maven. Definitely don't recommend it for the best loadout. I really like the Sharp Tooth, but I said it a million times and I'll say it again, it really needs one more shell in the mag. Then we have the Infiltrator Pump, but it's more of a hybrid. It has double the fire rate of a typical pump, but still not as fast as a Maven or Drum Shoddy. So it's another weapon players are struggling with. I think that is because it is too fast for the traditional swap and too slow to barrel stuff. You gotta play it kinda like a ranged fight using cover and a lot of peaks. It's so weird how in this season even a close-up fight plays out like a ranged fight, right? I kinda like that though because it rewards smart gameplay and patience. It takes a lot of luck out of the equation. So anyways, yeah, going uh, infiltrator pump in the second slot. By the way, if you thought that might have been clicks in my lobby... Ah! Eliminated by clicks. You're not clicks, bro. Yeah, I didn't think so either. He ain't hanging out in the basement of the Fortnite pub lobbies. And wearing that skin, you know what I'm saying? Next loadout slot is a big one. The fifth dentist caved and now they're all recommending Trident? <laughs> yep, it's mobility. 
We have the crazy new Rocket Ram with unlimited charges, or we can hit the on-the-go bag augment and have a lot of shockwave opportunities. The new Nitro cars are faster too. What about Kit's shockwave launcher? I think the on-the-go bag perk and having to use rockets for ammo makes it a hard pass, especially when you gotta fight for it. I'm on the fence here between the Ram or the shocks, but I think this is your choice. I have faith in you. So, third weapon time, and this is where things get weird. Let's get nuts. The new scoped burst SMG is pretty nasty and does have 100% accuracy while aiming down sights. But that only happens if the gun isn't recoiling all over the place, which is every time, but it is an SMG, they do that. It just goes everywhere. The suppressed pistol is now auto and a lot of fun if your aim's on point. If not, you're gonna have a bad time. It also needs the augments to get the most out of it. That tends to be a reoccurring theme with all the pistols this chapter. I'm going with one of my favorites, the Combat SMG, as my third Fortnite weapon in the best loadout. The kick is a little better, it has a higher headshot mod, and it has first shot accuracy too. If you like to roll with two guns, then the best zero build replacements would either be port bunkers or probably the briefcase turrets. I think the turrets will be nerfed soon though. Heels and shields, obviously, it's the legendary slurps. You can get those from Loot Island, Combat Caches, or the Tower Bosses or other players loot. <laughs> so there we go, peeps. Best zero build loadout is Twin Mag AR, Heisted Maven or the Infiltrator Pump, Combat SMG in the spray and swap roll, your choice for mobility, and of course the fastest heals and shields. Thanks for watching everybody, and if you wanna know which augments to use with this loadout, click this video. But hurry up, this is about to end.